Welcome back to Not My Kitchen. I'm in my parents' kitchen. It's like 10.30 right now. I was like scrolling around on my Twitters and there was a hot Cheeto turkey. You know what I'm gonna make tonight? A hot Cheeto turkey. And so that's what we're gonna make today. So I'm in the store now. Let's get some turkeys. Next day, hot Cheetos. Six and a half hours later. All right, I got this. This beautiful turkey. Ooh. I got all the hot Cheetos right here. Never actually cooked the turkey before. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. Look. Hello, my name is Butter. Um, and today we're gonna make me hot Cheeto fried. And now we are going to dry him. Pat, dry, pat, dry, pat, 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 pat. So I have about three bags of hot Cheetos right here. We're gonna go ahead and go to the blender. Ooh. Oh God, I gotta be quiet. My mom's gonna wake up. Hot Cheeto powder. Ooh. Oh. Dust. It smells delicious. Preheat the oven now to 325 Hurrah degrees. There we go. But uh, and also this video is not sponsored. I just want you guys to know. Open this bad boy up. Bam. Get in there. I'm gonna microwave this. Take that butter. Ooh, my butter is looking melted. I'm just gonna fill this crevice right here. Cheetos, to make it a real hot Cheeto turkey. Get in there, Cheetos. It is filled to the brim with hot Cheetos right now. Next step, I have my turkey right here, and then I have my butter right here, gutter butter. Hot Cheeto crumbs. When I dip it in here, you wanna coat the bird like that, like you're painting a beautiful masterpiece on this butter ball turkey already. So now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our hot Cheeto crumbs right here, and just put it on top of the turkey. Just keep patting it down, and just rubbing it until it kind of sticks to it. Oh, you smell so good. He smells so good already. He's not even cooked yet, guys. <sighs> Got my hot Cheeto turkey, let's go. Oh. Oh. Bye, 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 bye. One eternity later. It's five. 35 a.m. I'm gonna pull this bad boy out now. Oh. oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so crispy. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this. Oh, oh look how tender that is. Oh, look how juicy that is. Look at all that juice in there. Jesus, who knew cooking with hot Cheetos and make things so juicy? The leg is like my favorite part, so that's why I'm cutting it first. This is unreal, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so crispy. The skin is so crispy. It tastes like hot Cheetos still. Oh my gosh. Mmm, it's perfectly cooked. It's crispy. It's delicious. This is gonna be the best Thanksgiving ever. I just gotta take a bite of this. Look at that. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. The meat is falling off the bone. Look at that, guys. Oh, nothing's raw. I can see it's all fully cooked. I don't know why this tastes so good to me right now, but it's so good. I just really wanted to make this video for you guys. That's why I stayed up until 5 in the morning, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It, it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the hot Cheeto turkey, and you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. See you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. <gasps> Boom. What is up my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen today. We're making a giant hot Cheetos marshmallow first turn on your fire Then you want to add some sugar then you're gonna need some corn syrup a lot of corn syrup You add a little bit of water you want to mix all that together now candy thermometer of some sort now We wait for it to heat up all right guys So the first step of making a giant marshmallow you want to make your gelatin bloom first, which is the gelatin base It's basically less than a fourth of gelatin right here Bam, one cup of water. Ooh. Nice and together, you wanna get the edges. One cup of the sugar and corn syrup mixture, I'm gonna pour it directly into our gelatin bloom, right here. Stir it off with a soft stir. Make it faster and faster and faster. One tablespoon of red dye. And slowly, and wow, that is beautiful. Look at that. After mixing it for a very long time, now we can take this out, butter it up just to make sure that it will not stick. You can see that it, the marshmallow fluff is here and they're making peaks. That's when you know it's time to pour into the pot. Oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. Woo! 
Now I'm gonna repeat this process like seven more times. All right, this is the last pour, the last layer of marshmallow. Here we go. So now the next part of our hot Cheeto marshmallow, we got actual hot Cheetos that we're gonna crush so we can coat it. Let's do it. This is the, this is the marshmallow, the hot Cheeto marshmallow. I'm gonna be very gentle. Ooh, okay, that's a good sign. It's already getting kind of loose. I'm gonna flip it. Come on, baby, please, 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 yes! It's beautiful, it's just a giant marshmallow. It's so fluffy, oh my gosh. My first ever giant red marshmallow that I'm gonna coat in hot Cheetos and make it delicious. It looks absolutely perfect and gorgeous. Look at it, oh my goodness. Oh, just moving it all around. Just getting the hot Cheeto flavor all over this marshmallow. Oh my goodness, the smells. It's like sweet and spicy. I'm so excited about this right now. Oh. The moment I've been waiting for, and I think a lot of you guys have been waiting for, me to finally taste the giant hot Cheeto marshmallow. All right, guys, here we go. In three, in two, in one. Oh yeah, it is lit, it's so good. It's like spicy and sweet, and oh, it's so good. You guys must make a giant marshmallow and you have to put hot Cheetos on it. I don't know why this is the weirdest combination, but it tastes fantastic. You guys don't understand. I love you, giant marshmallow hot Cheeto. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna do the biggest drop test that a giant marshmallow has ever been into. This drop is the highest ever, and we're gonna do it right here, right now. Let's go. This is the highest drop a giant marshmallow has ever done. Not only a giant hot Cheetos marshmallow. Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Ah! Oh, what? It like exploded. Okay, wait, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my gosh, it like imploded. That was the most craziest thing. I've never seen a marshmallow do that. It went and it went out on the inside. I'm sorry, giant marshmallow. The inside just completely flew up. Oh my gosh, that drop was amazing. I did not expect that to happen, but thank you guys so much for watching the highest drop that a giant marshmallow has ever been in. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. What is up my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen today. We're making something I can eat hot Cheeto tacos I'm gonna make them because this is something I've been dreaming of because I love tacos So let's get right into it first things first We're gonna need some hot Cheeto grind so grind up your hot Cheetos and then one cup of masa and One cup of hot Cheetos and then you want to mix that all together and get it all beautiful red You're gonna need about one cup of water. And you want to slowly add your water into it once it becomes this consistency then you can actually just leave it and let it rest for about 30 minutes. You need a cup and some lime. Cut them up and then squeeze it into a cup just like this. Any cup works. Pour your lime juice into the spray bottle and just make sure it's completely full. Don't forget to spin on that cap. Ground beef. You want to marinate it with some pepper, some cayenne pepper, some onion powder, some cumin. You can't forget the cumin. Cumin is so important in tacos. That's like that distinctive taste. Some crushed red pepper, chili powder, and my favorite, smoked paprika. I put that on all my meats almost. Then you want to just slowly mix it together. Mmm, it smells so good. Set that off to the side because this is our taco meat filling. Now you're going to need one of these tortilla press. Press our masa that's been resting for about 30 minutes. Roll into little balls and, and boom. You got some little mini tacos right now. Heat up a pan really hot with oil and you just throw that on. If they're holding together from the pre-cook, I can put it into this mold and stick it in the deep fryer. Wow, look at the bubbles. Yes, bubbles. Pull it out and I'm ready. From there, you wanna take the mist and coat the tacos. Then this will help the hot Cheetos crumbs actually stick to the taco. Throw some crumbs onto the taco shell. Get ready to add the filling to your tacos. Voila. <laughs> Go. In three, in two, in one. Um, ah, ah, it's so good. It tastes like 
Why haven't you made this Taco Bell? That's what it tastes like. It tastes like Taco Bell would sell way more tacos than if they made this. But I made it first, so you better not steal my idea, Taco Bell. I swear. You better, like, call me or something. Don't steal it. Stealing is not nice. Mmm, this is so good. Mmm, mmm. See you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Oh my gosh, these tacos are so good. Mm -hmm. What's up, my beautiful Marmars? You guys got over 7,000 likes on that hot mac and Cheetos video. And so, in return, I, as promised, I'm making the giant hot mac and Cheeto today for you guys. So make sure you salt your water. Pour in some other pasta right here. Bam. Pan. Okay, now that it is all melted, you want to bring the heat down lower. Add some flour. That much cheese, is that enough? Add some milk and stir it in slowly. Get this like creamy, milky cheese sauce right here that has your rooks and all that all combined into here. I have some smoked paprika. Just give it a little dash right here. Just to add a little kick to your cheese. Black black pepper right here. And now, since we have macaroni, it's time to add the cheese! Yummy! Mix it all in there, you know? Get, our, get the cheese in every aspect of this macaroni. Go ahead and put it onto this wax paper. Hey, you stay paper. No, eh, stop it. The bacon. And you just kind of put it right on top of that. Boom! Just kind of mix it like this. Mac and cheese pizza DIY! And okay, here. Bam! So you're just gonna let that bad boy cool for a little bit. It is successfully cooled now. Grab some of it and you wanna shape it into what you want it to do right here, but apparently it doesn't want to cooperate. That I thought I could I I, I thought I thought wrong. Alright, got the mac and cheese out of the microwave. It's now very malleable and easy to play with. Like this one and shape it into a Cheeto. If I just like wrap it up like this, do you think this will work? Swagger. Wrap it up like a little burrito right there. There we go. We got some Cheeto burrito things. Let's check this out right here. Whoa, whoa. Look at our mac and Cheeto. You're literally going to just wash it up in here. Okay, nice and wet. And you just want to throw the hot Cheetos on it. Oil is hot and ready. We're just gonna go for it and see what happens here. I really like, I'm so scared. Oh gosh. Alright, there it goes, guys. Oh man, no, it's falling apart. It's hot, it's hot. Okay, I was literally so frustrated with that falling apart that I made this batter really fast. It's made out of eggs, flour, hot Cheeto puffs and a little bit of milk in here. Take some of this. You can go ahead and just gently drop that in there. See what happens. It's going a little crazier. Okay, this time it seems to be working and there is a hard batter around it. Perfect. You have to also remember that this one and this one are double battered because they have the hot Cheetos on the inside and they have the hot Cheeto batter that I had to make last second. Add some more of my hot Cheeto dust to it. Thank you so much for watching me make these giant bacon mac and Cheetos, hot Cheeto style. I'm gonna try this now. Giant ones, here we go. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Just look at that bite. Mm. There's still crunchiness from it. It's so portable, it's so delicious, it's so hot. Here's the failed one. I mean, there's a big piece of bacon there. There's like, it's still deep fried, it still looks delicious. It's not the giant solid piece. I'm excited, let's do this. Mmm, even my failures are so delicious. This is so good. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace.